Okay. Now we've lasered all these veins so far. You can see they're nice and red, a little bit raised. It's a very good response, engine neurotic type of response. See the blue dots? These are where the reticular veins that are actually feeding into all this complex are coming from. Down deeper, she has a little perforator. She's had a previous stripping. She's got an incompetent branch that gives off some of these. So we're going to do ultrasound guided as well as do a little phlebectomies. She has a larger complex here that's blue, spider complex right here. So since this is going to cause a little bit more discomfort, she tolerates this without any problem. I'm going to inject just a little tumescent, a little stick here, my dear, subdermally. And what that does, it just takes the edge off of this as we do the laser. Another trick is to empty the blood like this. So we'll empty the blood and actually laser the vessel with the blood emptied. That helps too. You see it's filling up. I empty it and do the laser with it empty. She has nice subdermal technique here, uh, semes and anesthetic. So we'll show you here the laser with the subdermal. This is subdermal is right here. I'm going to empty the blood just a little bit to make the lumen a little bit smaller. See how I empty it just gently like that. And then we laser. This is a nice technique. Do you feel anything? No. Okay. You see that she really feels nothing because of the subdermal. A little bit of blood volume there when I get rid of. And we'll show you when we're through what it looks like. Now you can see a lot of the blood volume is gone. I, since I do this, I can still see a little filling. So what I'm going to do is just inject about a half cc of 0.18 sotradecal. I'm going to find a little opening. See if I can find a little vessel that's open. You see it blanch? See it blanch. So that should finish that off. Okay. Now this is a vessel that's feeding a lot of these complexes. It comes from like that. It's a little perforator coming way down here. It gets larger up here. See there. It comes up and gives rise to multiple branches that travel up to the complex. What we're going to do is do ultrasound guided here with 0.5% uh, subtradecal foam. You can see now the foam is in the vessel we treated. Excellent penetration. And now what we're going to do is a little tumescent and do a phlebectomy. See how the foam is going nicely right down to where the perforator was. So this is excellent penetration, excellent result. Okay. Right here. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing the uh, phlebectomy right here. You can see the vein coming out. We've already done these two. We're going to do every place we mark. We do a little phlebectomy, take out the feeding veins. And then after we're through, we'll show you what it looks like when we're completed procedure. But that's the phlebectomy. So we're going to do it in about eight locations. Okay. You can see there's just a little bit of a thrombus formation here. So we just relieve that. Give that a little chance for exit to get out of there so it won't stain does very well. This is a Dermica cream right here. This is what we developed. It's plant-based cream with vitamins and it really cuts down on bruising and inflammation. So we use this post-procedure and use it about three times a day and uh, it does quite well. So we just rub this in and just really cuts down on bruising post-op. That's how we do this procedure. Okay. That's it.